What's going on guys? I'm Pete and this is Retro Game Addict. So I had to go to Ohio last week for a work trip and while I'm in a new area, I like to do the scene. I like to check out local restaurants and breweries, but I also like to see what the local game stores have to offer. And there was one in particular that I did like in the greater Dayton area called Game Swap. So let's check it out. You are greeted to an assortment of arcade cabinets as soon as you walk in and a pretty solid selection of retro video games, movies, merchandise, collectibles, and music. I was pretty floored by their competitive game prices. They seemed like they were overall priced well below eBay in price charting values, which unfortunately is a rarity among these shops I've been to, so I picked up a bunch of games to shoehorn in my luggage to take home. We have a good amount of games to go over, so let's get started. Alright, so first up we have Solstice on NES. The cartridge is in pretty good shape. I mean, there's some sticker residue I have to take off, and I'm sure I have to clean the pins, but for $5.99, that's a pretty good deal. Next up, we have Gyrus on NES. Bottom of the label here, I guess I gotta glue that down a little bit. That's not that big of a deal. $8.99 is a pretty fair price in my opinion. Looks like it's in pretty good shape, other than that little peeling issue. Cool. And next up, we have Alien Syndrome. I know it's a Sega game. I haven't tried it, but for this price, I mean, why not? For $12.99, which I do believe they go for a little bit more on eBay. And then next up, we have Raid on Bungling Bay. $9.99. The cartridge is in great shape. There's really not much I have to do. Just to kind of peel a little sticker residue off the back, and there it is. And next up, we have Sesame Street, ABC, and 123. The cartridge is super clean here. For $5.99, a good way to fill out your collection a little bit. All right, and here we have Spot for $7.99. Again, this cartridge is in awesome shape. Little issues here and there. I'm gonna have to clean all these a little bit just to get them up to my standards. And we have Racket Attack for two bucks. The end label's peeled there, which is kind of a bummer. But other than that, the cartridge is okay. And for two dollars, you really can't go wrong. And here we have Shadow Gate. Again, there's a little peeling issue on the label here, but I can glue that down. And other than that, it's in good shape. $9.99 is a pretty good buy. All right, next up we have Fisher Price Perfect Fit for $5.99. And again, this cartridge is in awesome condition. Next up, we have Conflict. I actually went back to the store a second time and snagged this one for $12.99. There's a little bit of damage on the cart, and it's kind of discolored in a few areas. But for $12.99, I thought that was a fair enough price. Yeah, there's a little bit of issues on the back of it, which isn't that big of a deal. Next up, we have POW for $10. This cartridge is in awesome shape. Just needs a light cleaning, and other than that, it's probably good to go. And then I actually got two boxed NES games, no manual but $9.99 for Pictionary by LJN. So there's some sticker residue on the side there. The box seems to be in pretty good shape. The cartridge is in great shape. And next up again, this one has no manual. It's Wheel of Fortune for $7.99. I think I actually did have this one when I was a kid. My parents used to play it. Yeah, the box appears to be in pretty good shape. A little bit of bending there, but you know, I'm gonna put it in a box protector so that'll shape it up in time. Cool. And then from here, I picked up a few Game Boy games. First up, we have Korth for $3.99. I do like how a good game store like these guys at GameSwap don't put the stickers right on top of the labels. They're kind of easy to peel off. And next up we have Super RC Pro-Am. I actually didn't have this one. $3.99. You can see an old GameStop sticker underneath there. Revenge of the Gator. This is a fun one. I think it's from HAL. Yeah, HAL Labs. It's a fun little game. $5.99. You really can't go wrong. Now this one, the label is kind of beat up. It's Battle Arena Toshinden, which I know is a super graphically enhanced game for the Game Boy. It's kind of crazy watching this thing run. And I said, you know what, for $5.99, I usually don't go for games in this condition, but I said, why not for six bucks? And here's another one I actually had when I was in high school. It's not that great of a game, but I did have a lot of fun with it. Surfing H3O for $4.99. Again, looks like an old GameStop or an EB sticker on the back there. It's in pretty good shape. I'll just clean up the outer casing and it'll be good to go. And I will be shredding again in no time. And then last up, we have GP1 on the Super Nintendo. The cartridge is pretty grody. It's got a bunch of sticker residue and who knows what on the front of it. And then on the back, I guess it was a former rental. It has that little magnetic strip in the back. I can take that off. A little bit of sticker residue back here. I don't know too much about this game, but I mean, it's an Atlas title and for $7 for an Atlas game, that's pretty unheard of. Let's check out how I did. Here's a list of what I paid for each game versus the current price charting values. To my surprise, not every game was cheaper than price charting at GameSwap, but overall I saved about 50 bucks. I didn't account for tax on either end to keep it simple, so overall I think I did alright, and I was able to pick up some common NES games that I usually overlook. So, as you can see, GameSwap is a solid choice to 
hit up if you're ever in the Dayton, Ohio area. The only downside I noticed was that some of the cartridges that I bought from them had dirty contacts. Not the biggest deal, but I usually expect retro game stores to clean their games prior to sale. Either way, I think it's important to support your local game stores, and I'm stoked I was able to check this place out. What about you guys? Do you have a favorite local game shop? Please be sure to drop it in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching Retro Game Attic. I seriously appreciate you all, and I hope you find some good gaming scores out there. Later.